Our society is so pain and stress driven that it really takes extra effort on your part if you want to create a more pleasurable life. And that's what I want to talk about in this video today is how you can really transform your whole life, transcend what we are going through in our world right now by you committing to you to awaken your divine feminine. And where does your divine feminine reside? Well, let me tell you, she is good and hidden right now. She is cloaked. She is guarded. She is armored up because we've lived in an unsafe world. But when you commit to you and you commit to a whole new path, a path of pleasure over pain, a, plash, a path of love over fear. You will transcend this craziness that's happening right now. And that's why this, this message, this video that I'm doing today is so powerfully important. What I'm doing more than with my words is I'm really giving you a transmission from my own embodiment, from my own divine feminine essence, from my own personal connection to my femininity. You know, I spent two years in a mystery school learning this divine feminine wisdom back in 2000 and uh, five to 2007. It transformed my life. And I want to share these beautiful mysteries and this source of a path of embodiment that will help you transcend the pain and experience pleasure, that will help you transcend this misery that we're going through so that you can be a true leader of love. We need you right now. We need you. We don't even really realize the depth of wisdom that your body holds, that your pelvic bowl holds. She's guarded. You know, we've been manhandled down there. And you know what I'm talking about. I got a great story. I went to, this is years ago. I was thinking about how men touch women. And it's not that they're, I mean, men love to touch women. We have beautiful, soft bodies and it feels good. I mean, have you ever touched your body? The skin is the largest organ in the body and it's really quite uh, nice. Have you ever touched your face? You know, we're holding right now, we're holding a lot of misery in our face. And when you touch your face with loving kindness, you're actually affecting not just your face. There's a whole network connected to your femininity through your face. That's why women love getting facials. But there's so much more to know about that. Anyway, back to this story that I wanted to tell you a few years back, thinking about this idea of men manhandling women. And um, it's not their fault. It's just that the, the differences between the masculine and the feminine, it's a beautiful, we're magically complementary. But if women don't claim their bodies, claim their divine feminine essence, we get manhandled. And so then we protect ourselves, we build up armor, and we don't, we don't have access to those deeper places of pleasure and waves of divine feminine healing energy that we actually um, generate within ourselves. So I was at a health food store and there was, there used to be, this is before, um, you know, gender fluidity. There was a, a masculine, there, there was a woman's toilet a bathroom and a men's bathroom. And it was so funny because uh, I guess the first one, you could go into either one, but at the, at the time it was a man's bathroom and a woman's bathroom. And so I couldn't get into the woman's bathroom. I guess someone was in there. And then, I, so I, I, I could get into the man's bathroom. You could get into either one, but it was labeled as men's. And it was so funny, I observed the two different doors. The one door was clean and everything was, you know, just the, the woman's door was all clean <laughs> to the bathroom. And the man's door was almost like torn apart. 
it was dirty. It, it was kind of like beaten up and it was for men coming through that bathroom. Okay, I'm not going to be politically correct. It, it just is what it is. Don't take this offensively. But there's a difference between masculine and feminine energy. There's a difference between the female body and the male body. And women, let me tell you, if you haven't spent time with your female body, and the only time that you've actually spent with your female body is with a man, then there are deeper aspects in your body that you've probably not gained access to. You've been manhandled. There's nothing wrong with that. It's called sports sex. It's called, um, you know, getting off. That's okay. All I'm saying is that there is so much more. So much more. And that's why I've created this class that I'm offering called Manifesting More Pleasure. There is a link in this live and you can click on it and it will go through all the details of when it's starting, what's included, and why it's important for you to jump on board and do this live class with me and other women as we reclaim our bodies as sacred. So you will learn all of these powerful concepts, these mysteries that I've learned about the female body and how to, the tools that you need and the awareness that you need to access these waves of healing energy that emanate from when you connect your heart to your yoni, when you connect the sacredness of your being with your body, when you can learn how to get out of the craziness of your mind and be in your heart and the sacredness of your yoni. This is what I want to teach you. And this is what I'm offering as a sacred path to reclaim your joy, to reclaim your happiness, to reclaim your body as sacred, to reclaim your sexuality as something that's uh, not only a physical aspect to you, but a, an emotional, nurturing, and spiritual as aspect of you that the world is really in need of right now, that our relationships are deeply in need of right now. Our relationships are in deep need of healing. Deep need of healing right now, all relationships. But if you can create healing within yourself, then what you're actually doing is you're transcending the misery through transmission. And maybe it's not making sense, but I'm actually doing it right now with you in this moment. You are a being of energy. You are a being of light. And probably you are an empath. So you are susceptible to all of the energy that's out there in the collective consciousness. I just spent some time with my body. And what I did too was I started with my face, touching my face. You can do this with me now. And I just gently touched my face. And I got to this part right here where everyone's wearing masks right now. I can connect to that collective consciousness that a lot of people themselves can't connect to. And I felt the pain. I felt the sadness. I felt the grief that's being held right here in our world, in our society, in our collective consciousness, cloaking ourselves, hiding ourselves. I felt that. And I just held it in love and compassion. And that's just a tip of the iceberg of what needs to be healed as we move forward into 2021. All right. So this is my body talking to you. I can feel it from deep in my heart. I can feel it from the core of my femininity, this message to you.